Hi everyone. This week I'm testing a new fragrance that I haven't uh, used before, but I've heard really good reviews about it. And the smell out of the bottle, oh, it's really yummy. It is Nature's Garden's Apple Mango Tango. Mmm. Now, the notes on it say that there's no acceleration, soap's really nice, and it discolors to sort of a light buttery color. So it's got a bit of yellow to it, but that's workable. I'm going to use some titanium dioxide to offset that, and we're going to use some of the bright colors. I'm going to do a uh, piped top, and I'm not going to fragrance that bit because I want to keep it really, really white. So here we go. So I'm going to add my lye. And I've got my piping bag already set up. I'm using a 2D Wilton. Go. I have not added the fragrance yet because I want to separate some out with white. Okay, now I'm doing this at a light trace because I've never soaked this one and I don't know how it's going to behave even though the notes say it does well. Every recipe is different. What soaps for me is not what it's going to soak for you. So you guys remember to test, test, test. So I'm going to separate out for some of my other colors. This is going to be for my white. Okay. And let me rinse this. And I'm going to do some green. Okay, so the colors I've got, I, I've got my uh, titanium dioxide in water in a little bottle. I've got um, neon green, and I've got neon pink, and we're going to go from there. So this little bit, I'm going to add some of my fragrance oil to it. Not a lot, because it's not a whole bunch. It's my green. And I want this pretty bright. There we go. Now, this is um, a dupe of the Gain Fabric Softener Apple Mango Tango. And it's Pretty dead on. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and do my white. I should have did that one first, huh? Shake it, baby, now shake it, baby. There we go. Whoa, hello. Ah, it won't let go. He loves me. He loves me. Now it's all over my hands. Okay. There we go. There we go. And I let that get a little bit thicker, kind of like a medium trace, because I'm going to pour it in my piping bag. And again, I've done the little twisty tie. 
at the bottom so it doesn't leak out. And this way, when you pour it when it's still runny, and then wait to let it set up, you don't have a bunch of air pockets. There we go. And hook it over the edge there and just go set it off to the side. And I think I'll use the last of this. Add the leftover into there. And that'll brighten that up just a smidge. I hate wasting soap. Nope, nope. Don't like it. Not one little bit. Okay. Oh, boy. That is just tropical insanity going on here. Hmm. Now, these are bright fruits. Tart fruits. With a green herbally note. This is not a sugary syrupy fruit. So if you're looking something that's definitely a fresher, brighter, airier spring fragrance, this is it. Ha! Oh, num num. Num num num. Okay. And let's grab my pink. And we're going to go ahead and add the rest of our fragrance. And I'm going to squeeze my... Get in there. Squeeze my pink. <laughs> Can you squeeze your pink? <laughs> All right. Well, look at that. That actually stayed nice and pink. That did not go too orange. It's got a slight haze to it. I don't know how well you see it on the camera. But that pretty much stayed pink. I don't know. Woohoo! So you know what? Since that stayed so nice and pink, I'm going to separate out another little bit and go orange with some of it. Doo -doo -doo. So let's pour off a little bit. And I'm getting plenty of time to work with this, it seems. I'm making a mess, aren't I? Now, you can use, like, the neon orange originally, but since I've already got pink in there, I'm just going to go on with a little bit of neon yellow to bring more yellow into that pink. Oh, come on. Hang on, I gotta bang the bottle. I'm down to the end of the bottle on this one. Well, we'll see. Woo, there we go. Now that is definitely a mango orange. That is awesome. All right. So, that is that. Let me get my mold over here. Okay, so I have... Let me set my timer. Okay, so I have my mold ready. I put some black tape on the ends because I know it blends in with the counter. It's kind of hard for you to see, so hopefully that helps. I have something a friend of mine, Aisa from Nickery Bath Treats, made. And she made me a set. When I saw her doing it, I was thrilled. You can do the same thing with cardboard. You don't have to get too fancy. Basically, you're going to go in like this. And you can tape it off to the sides. And then when you're ready to pull out, you just pull out. But this is cool. Go to a hardware store. It's um, the acrylic plastic. She did a base here, and we'll cut out right there. And this slides in here, and slides in on the other side. Easy peasy. How cool is that? So we're going to play with this today. This is my first time getting to use it. I'm excited. Here we go. 
Hey. Woohoo! Okay. So, our main batch is pink. So I'm going to go. Well, it's just now starting to set up. I'm going to get pink. Ugh! See, I already made a mess. I'm going to get pink in here. And pink in here. Pink all the way at the bottom for all of them. Okay. And I'm going to add some of my green. Boy, I am making a mess today. I'm not used to this. That's all right. I'll get used to it, huh? And then I want some of my orange over here. more green. And I'm going to steal some of that white. And I'm just going to do a little bit of green on top of each one. Kind of spread it out.
I really like this fragrance. You can get really kind of crazy with the colors, huh? It's fun and funky, like me. All right. Now, I've got the last of my orange I'm going to top it all off with. Spread that out a bit. Spread it out a bit. Oh, that feet popped over. But that's okay. Because now... Here comes the fun part. And I'm going to pull this out. And I'm going to pull this out. And I'm going to pull this out. And this. One last camp. Take it out. Do my top. Get rid of this. And twist. Grab the top here. And twist. And there we go. Bring this baby over. God, it, my whole place smells amazing right now. Oh, this stuff is fabulous. All right. How am I going to do this? Because I'm not, I go up and down like that. It's going to be kind of hard. If I go sideways, I don't know. We'll try it. See if you guys can see okay. La 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 I'm digging on springtime Now, those of you that know my travels Last year we were in Colorado And all the way up through April we had snow this year we're over in Oregon and it's gorgeous out. It's a beautiful day. I have no snowy problems today. I'm watching neighbors build uh, planting boxes and getting all excited for growing season. And This soap just makes me feel like I want to dance springtime. Oh yeah. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do. And a little bit down the middle. Just use up what you got. All right. There we go. Okay, okay, all right. I'm not gonna tamp it. I auto, I almost did, I almost did. Ah! Because then I'd lose my peaks. So, no, 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 no. And I'm gonna take a little bit of my 24 karat gold mica and some oil and 
dribble little bit shake 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 get some of that sparkling shimmer shine on there cuz I love it now I'm gonna grab some glitter all right I've got some iridescent glitter cuz I cannot resist that bling bling there we go awesome sauce all right there it is guys and we'll be back when it's time to cut okay so we are ready to cut our soap let's see how it goes okay Okay. Woohoo! Very cool. There we go. Cool. Love that, love it. Of course our ends. Alright, there we go. Apple Mango Tango. You know what? Soap's like a dream. I didn't get any of this coloration. It's got no vanil in it, so I know it's not going to turn that way. I was worried about the yellow, but honestly, you know, I didn't really have any effect of the yellowing. So I say go for it. There we go.